Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of uh, Mel's Translation. So we're happy to be here. We have a special guest in the building. Um, please give a warm welcome to our guest, Joy Banks, <laughs> host, hey. and, host and personality. Hi, everyone. How you doing? All right, all right. We're happy all right. to have you here with us. I'm glad to be here, guys. Glad you can make it. Glad, yeah, glad I made it. Glad I made it. Uh, I am Marlon Maxwell. You know this is my man, Clarence Brown. What's happening, everybody? How y'all feel? And like I said, this is Joy Banks, the host personality. You can find her at that'sjoy.com. That's Joy with an I, right? That's yeah. correct. Check her out. Check her out. She's trying to be different and all. <laughs> you know, right now, right now. Anything you want to say? Let people yeah, know of yourself. course. I mean, I, hey, it's that's Joy. It's personality. It's culture. It's sophisticated. It's upscale. That's what I'm about. I'm trying to support my people just like my people support me, and I love what you guys are doing. Thanks. Love appreciate it. it. Much appreciated. You can Thanks. catch me on Twitter, IG, at T H A T S J O I. That's Joy. That's all you have to say right now. We got to get into it. We, we got to get into it because we got a juicy one for y'all. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y'all ready to get into this thing? Yeah. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, one of, our, um, one of our followers hit Clarence up. Yeah. They've been on my head, man. They've been, hey, Clarence, you need to talk about this, bro. Talk about it, man. You got to put it on your next show. This is this your next topic. Like, you know, so they wouldn't let me go a day without doing it. So this is for all, all the people that's telling me, hey, you need to speak on this topic. Hey, so what is it, Mom? Actually, uh, the topic is where does the sex go? Where does it go when you're in an established relationship? <laughs> And I'm tell you what, when you told me about this, I was like, I can tell you where it goes. It can't nobody tell you. Marlon can tell you where the sex goes. Because everybody knows, once you get locked in, the sex just be like, hey, I'm going, I'm out of here. No. It's check out. It's check out time. That's, yeah, that's hey. the male point of view. That's not right. true. But that's, that's why we got you here, so we're going to get some. The fellas something. know. The fellas know. When be, like, before you get married, when you dating a girl, if you get serious with it, you got the old school cat say, hey, man, you say, hey, listen, if you put a ring on it, you know this is what's going to happen, right? You right. know she's going to shut it down. And so. Because I know I done been in the barbershop and they like, look, dog, you getting all that play now. <laughs> <laughs> but when you get married, it's over. Yeah, yeah, and that's what it is. So a lot of men feel when they get married that this is what's going to happen. This is what we got to look forward to is the coochie shot being shut down. Oh, my goodness. So we don't, we don't, and I know women that say, you know what? Once we get married and he puts a ring on it, he has no idea how good it will be. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, All since, right. since we so, have a female in the building, so. we're going to be gentlemen <laughs> and let the women go first. Where does the sex go? Where does the sex go? I mean, there's a lot of things that happen in a relationship. The more you progress with your goals, the more it, it may slide. Uh, like if you, you have, a, have a child or there's other responsibilities, women prioritize. So the sex, while sex is a priority, women are a little more focused and they know we have other responsibilities. Who's going to take care of the house? Because just like a man wants to have sex, he wants dinner, he wants a clean house, he wants to watch sports, and he wants you to wait around and be ready for that. Hunch. I eat after we hunch. <laughs> That's just me. I eat after we hunch. Look, you know they say all men need is all you got to do is have sex with us, feed us, and be quiet. And pretty much we'll feed ourselves. <laughs> so, much. but no, it's not even it's not even like that sometimes. But listen, like she made a great point, man. When it comes to the sex, you got life. Life happens. You know, as y'all stay together, you got kids coming to the equation. You got your house, mortgage, all these other things that you're thinking about. But at the same time, I feel like sometimes that gets lost. Your, you know, the satisfaction of your partner gets lost in all of that. So while you're focusing on school, while you're focusing on your degree, and the kids got to be, you know, school at this time, picked up here, and da 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 men feel like, well, what, 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 what I'm fitting this? You know what I mean? So again, when we, when we were having sex frequently in the beginning of the relationship, now nah, that's falling off because you're telling me, okay, well, I got to do this, and you want me to do da 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 What? What, what, what do you have to say about that? What do you have to say on that? Well, while I, I think that I'm a single woman, mm -hmm. and while by just by default, I don't have, I don't do that frequently. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, it's just. <laughs> well, that's too bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but in a relationship, I've been in a long-term relationship, and our, our, while our priorities may change, one of the reasons it just goes is because the, the fire just isn't there. It doesn't completely go. Mm -hmm. um, but women understand that. Right. We want men to be just excited, as exciting as they were when we first met. Surprise me with those flowers. I would, I would go to work not just on Valentine's, but let me get my edible arrangement just because it's Tuesday. Right. What happened to that? Mm -hmm. What happened to that? What I, happened I to can tell you what happened to it. 
<laughs> what happened to it? I can tell you what happened to it. You start using the coochie as, as Scooby Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. If I can say the word, I apologize to some of the followers that might be up, but I'm real. If you watch the show, you know I tell it like it is. Mm -hmm. Women use sex as a Scooby snack. It's a method yeah. of control. It's to control men. That's what you do. That's where the sex goes. Once you get in a relationship, you know, we've been boyfriend and girlfriend. You've been giving it to me on the regular. Okay? So now that we done locked in, this is how you control me. You say, oh my God, you ain't take the trash, you ain't get none tonight. No, but, but no. I had the bays in the dirty tub, you ain't getting none tonight. <laughs> oh my God, you were snoring last night, you ain't getting none tomorrow. Yeah. But no, we are not, women are not that extreme. Women connect on a mental level, first of all. Okay. So if you're mentally connected there, you're going to get what you want at the end of the night. We're not, we are just, we are complex in some ways, but when it comes to that sexual connection, that mental connection comes mm -hmm. first. And then you can get whatever you want, whatever you want, but you have to be there mentally. I think sometimes the sex may go in a relationship because the mental connection is no longer there. I'm no longer challenged. You post everything we do on Facebook. Now we have <laughs> nothing to talk about when I get home. I agree. So, okay. so you you have to keep those keep me mentally stimulated. Everything else will come, and a lot of women can agree with that. That's a turn on a man that can hold a conversation. Keep me interested. What happened on the news today? When you were reading the Wall Street Journal, wow, can you believe that happened? Or whatever, if you were reading the comic strips, whatever, you know, whatever your preference is, then that's that. Once that goes, that's a sign for women. Or you're not you're not following our goals anymore that we agreed on when we first got okay, together. Okay, okay, okay. I definitely make a point. You make a point. Right. Okay, okay. So check this out. All right, let me ask you this: When you feel is a, is a good, I don't know, frequency on having sex when you're in a long term relationship or you're in an established relationship. Because I know some people that's married that ain't that's having sex once a, once a week. I think once a week is very normal. Huh? Girl, you almost <laughs> got put out. What? Girl, <laughs> I once think a week. once a week is normal. Let me explain why. Once mm -hmm. a week is normal because it's exciting. If you do, especially if you're not even married yet, let me tell you something. Why? Why would you just keep giving it away? And if you're in a committed relationship and you're working towards something, that's one thing. That makes it more exciting for us as women. But if I have to do it all the time and it's more like a chore, <laughs> nobody likes chores. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah. So yeah. sorry. Yeah. So what do you think? is what, what is a good time if once a week is not it? I don't think y'all want me to answer this question. Go ahead, play it over here and tell them what you think. Because I need to hunch every night. <laughs> and it don't got to be long. Cause see, I know some of y'all thinking, oh, you want to hunch for 30 minutes every night. No, no. We can hunch every night for two minutes, a minute and a half. Why? Because that's what helped me sleep at night. <laughs> that's what get me a nice, a good, nice rest. I wake up refreshed. If I have a late night and I got to, if I got to be up, I don't go to bed till 2.30 and I got to be up at 6.30. If you give me some, I'm going to wake up like I had eight, nine hours. Okay. I so, Marlon thinks once every night because he needs to go to At sleep. At least to go to sleep. If that's, uh, uh, that's his reason, fair enough. What is your reason? What's, now, what's a good say, time? I don't know, at least twice a week or more. Now, we're trying to focus, put emphasis on the more. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> twice a week, it, it should be good. Because I don't want people to feel like, okay, we got to be meeting coochie quotas in the bedroom. <laughs> you know coochie what quotas? So, I you, can't. You got a little scope oh, board by the bed. Like, okay, this Monday, uh, that's one. All right, cool. Now, right, look. Yeah, and don't, don't keep tabs now. Yeah, exactly. Don't do that. Like, okay, now that's one. You better pick your next day careful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but still, you can't, I don't know. It, it's up to the people. It, it depends on the couple. It depends on the two people. But I would say, I think twice or more a week is, is normal. At least three. I All need right. three. All right, so the fellas also want to know, when, when, when do you bring it up? Like, okay, when you feel them as a man, like, man, you know, we not getting intimate, we not being together physically as much as we used to, then how how do I express this to the woman without her feeling like that's all that's on my mind? Like well, I can't track now. Well I'll tell you when you don't do it. It right when we're in the bed at night and then you want some sex and then when you don't get it, don't bring it up then. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm Let's not do that. Let's not do that. No, that's what that's what is gonna happen. Like, What's up, man? Let me get some I don't feel like it. Man, you trip, how can we get in them hunch? There is that's not the time to do it. No, that's a perfect time. <laughs> no. Over dinner, or you want to sit down and have a serious So I'm going to say, baby, let's go out to eat. And say, listen, baby, the reason I brought you here was, uh, we've been a little stingy with the cooch. <laughs> and, uh, okay. I feel as though we can get to a place, you know, and, 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 well, you know, re you know, some requirements or whatever. So, listen, it's it just. Well, you know what? Maybe, maybe dinner's not a bad idea. Maybe bring it up at dinner. 
But you don't want to do it when you thinking about you don't possibly being intimate. Alcohol that night. Right? Well, you know what? Because women, we're very honest. Okay. But what we fear, or women have concerns with men saying we're complaining. If I come to you and say, oh, you know, it's just not the way it used to be. You stop going to the gym. You're slacking a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, used to come home and rub my feet. Used to ask me about my day. Now I don't even hear. You don't even ask me anything. You just, I can't even get in the bed good and you're touching on me. Don't touch me. Like, That's true. What, 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 happened to, what happened to those things? So we don't want to bring it up then, but then at the same time there's a concern about us complaining. So when would you like for a woman to bring it up? If you know, because we know. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Women know probably before men know. And I'm saying this because we have... Oh, no, that's a fact. We have a know. sixth sense. We have that sense. Right. We want you to bring it up before you go do something stupid. It's what we want you to... We, we want to talk about it before you make a mistake and, and you do something you're going to regret later on.